first time in an airport for two years. That was weird, doesn't it? ages just to get from the, uh, the airport to, to the ship actually but uh, anyway I'm going to enjoy the food was nice the dinner was nice I'm going to have these nice desserts oh suitcases are here awesome anyway we're going to get ourselves unpacked and uh, get ourselves showered and ready for bed because it is way past my bedtime. Good morning from sunny St. Vincent. We finally made it to the Caribbean. Jumping through all those hoops. We weren't really sure it was going to be a bit 50-50, wasn't it? But uh, it wasn't actually too bad in the end. It was a lot of paperwork. Loads and loads yeah. of paperwork. Reams of paperwork we were carrying around everywhere with us. But no PCR test done. Then the test prior to getting on the flight done and uh, okay. it was all right it was pretty straightforward yeah. wasn't it so yeah long old flight yesterday we did a bit of filming yesterday at the airport on the plane and then when we arrived last night but by the time we actually got on board last night we were both getting proper grumpy weren't we <laughs> so this here St Vincent was the first Caribbean island we ever saw back in 2014 on our first Caribbean cruise it's quite nice to be back here again Try the, let's try the Azura um, p and Cruises breakfast. That's what I have. What are you going to have? I'm going to have the smashed avocado with chilli flakes on sourdough toast. Because it's that. yummy. <laughs> <laughs> you really like that avocado, don't you? It's delicious. Yeah, lovely. It's, it's quite a lot here. Scrambled egg on a little bit of toast there. And, of the bits of bacon. Black pudding's still re relatively small, but looks, looks good. So this is the first stop on our excursion, the best of St. Vincent, and it's the Botanical Gardens. It's really lovely and it's so nice. First day of the Caribbean cruise and we're out in the sunshine, walking around these beautiful gardens. I bought snacks. <laughs> do. do we need snacks? I need a snack. Oh, some pretty amazing smells. The further you walk into the garden, the more you smell of all the different flowers and stuff. I mean, it's really strong. It's actually quite strong, isn't it? The smell of the plants and the flowers really good, around the garden yeah, really as you walk strong. through. So the protocols on the island at the moment are face mask wearing all the time from the time you get off the ship. But I mean, to be fair, we're wandering around outside and it's really warm. So everyone keeps randomly taking them off. And I think we're okay while we're outside. Obviously, when we get back on the minibus, we'll have to put the masks back on again. But everyone's being pretty good, to be fair.
I love old forts like this. I do. Really that. interesting, isn't it? I think the one in St. Kitts is bigger. St. Kitts is, is, the one in is, St. St. is Yeah, the one in St. Kitts is yeah. bigger and uh, better preserved. It's more of a museum, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. But this is cool, it's though. It's a little bit more interesting, but the views from here are really good. It doesn't get much better than this. Standing out here in the sunshine, drinking a rum punch in the Caribbean. It's absolutely beautiful, isn't it? Oh. Yeah, it's been nice this excursion, hasn't it? It's been all right, isn't it? You haven't been able to get off the ship. No one could get off the ship unless they've actually booked an official excursion. That's the only way you could get off the ship in St. Vincent. So, so uh, we wanted to make sure we had that sorted before we came. And it's been nice, nice few hours. Yeah, quite looking forward to getting back on Azura as well, actually. Have something to eat. We got the beach house booked for tonight. So I think it might have to be the rib combo, the beach house rib combo, if they've got that on the menu. I love that. Nothing wrong with Crocs. Is there? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, there are some Croc haters out there. <laughs> oh. Back in the cabin. It's a lot cooler in here than it is outside. That was a really <laughs> warm is. walk up to the ship, wasn't it? Yeah, it must be about 28 degrees today. I Walking reckon. up that gangway was, uh, yeah, it was really, really nice, really nice and sunny. We're going to get ourselves organised and then we're going to go down to the main restaurant for lunch, I think. Yeah. While it's tidy, we'll show you around our little inside cabin. It's uh, what they call a larger inside cabin. It's oriented slightly differently than the average cab cabin. So you've got this awesome desk area here with the three pin plugs uh, mirror there nice big mirror at the head of the bed that's the doorway into the cabin next to that you've got uh, this brilliant uh, full-length mirror and then halfway uh, along you've got this sort of partition area you've got the TV there although it's an older smaller TV the IT is actually pretty good it's uh, Software on the TV is updated, so it's pretty good. Uh, tea and coffee, like you get on all P&O ships. Yeah, you've got the, the fridge in the right-hand side down there. A few little shelves. And then over here, you've got all this excellent storage. This is just like loads of hanging space. Hanging space with a shelf. That's where the safe is, in there. Shelves all the way down there. And then here is where the uh, bathroom is. And it's a standard bathroom that you'd expect to get on a on a ship of this era. Uh, all pretty standard stuff, but um, yeah, perfectly adequate. It's uh, really nice. Everything works perfectly. So yeah, it's all right, isn't it? It's nice. Yeah, it's nice. Nice little, yeah, nice it's little cabin. Yeah. yeah, I'm definitely going to go for the chicken burger because it's full of chunky chips. Wow. Yeah, it's some like a sour cream guacamole salsa. Yeah. It's nice, isn't it? That's what my chicken burger looks like. It's nice, actually. Oh, this is the same thing. It's the same place. Mm -hmm. Betty and Custard. How is it? I don't know what's what's the difference between a like confetti and a crumble. Yeah. Up, oh, mm. I'm just going to pour the custard on. Mm. Oh, that was a really delicious lunch, actually. It's really nice, actually, after being out on an excursion for a few hours. It's nice to come and have a nice sedate 
lunch in the main dining room. It's really nice, wasn't it? Room, don't we? There's no one around inside really. I, I'm guessing it's going to be a little bit busier outside obviously because of the sunshine but there certainly aren't many people inside. Yeah we like the promenade on this class of ship don't we? Much prefer it. I yeah. think we prefer it to Iona. I, Iona's nice, it's a big promenade, it's like lots of entertaining space and but places you've got everyone to sit. Looking but at you. Yeah it's just and not the same. This, uh, this traditional sort of uh, promenade is much nicer for us anyway. Yeah. We've come down to the blue bar, ordered our drinks. I think we're going to have some live guitar music down in the atrium. He must have come down specially for us. He saw us arrive. I thought I'd better crack the guitar out. Yeah, probably. Go and get the guitar. <laughs> <laughs> so I've gone for the Brewdog Punk IPA. I think that'd be nice. And you've gone for whatever that is. What is it? Raspberry creme brulee. Oh, OK. Of course it is. It's One of your favourites, isn't it? It is. Oh, it's lovely actually, a nice cold beer on a hot day after a hot, sweaty excursion today. <laughs> a nice cold beer is really a lovely. Bit, wasn't it? I love these, these are yum. Yeah, it's a cross between a drink and a dessert, isn't it? That really? Yeah, it's lovely. Someone told us today that there are only 1,800 people, 1,800 people on the cruise. The capacity of this is what, about 3,000 is it? It's around 3,000 mark, like maybe that. just over. Yeah. Um, so it's like, you know, two thirds at most full. Uh, and it feels like it, and it feels pretty quiet. It does. There's not yeah. many people around. No. You're going to have the lava rock, are you? Yeah. This is lovely in here, isn't it? This is such a. Such a lovely setting this is. It's quite it's quiet, isn't it? Don't yeah. think we need to worry. So we've done the beach house <laughs> we've done the beach house a few times, haven't we? <laughs> and uh, if you haven't done it, I mean think most people know the beach house, but it's uh, part of the uh, buffet restaurant that they close off specifically for the beach house speciality dining in the yeah. evening, don't they? And uh, do we know how much it is? Is it about I thought, well, I thought it was £7.50 or something. I thought it was £7.50, but I think it was coming up as £6. Yeah, but it's well worth it, isn't it? Yeah. Because the menu is absolutely awesome. We've ordered food. Some nice stuff coming. Starters have arrived. I'm food looks good, doesn't it? It does. Really good. Crab to starters you got, mm. didn't you? Thank you. How are they? Cheers, thank you. Lovely. It is really good, isn't it, the food in the beach house. I've never had anything mm. that's like average, really, in the beach house. It's been, it's always been really good. It smells fantastic. Really nice. I went for the pork belly, which looks pretty amazing. Nice little starter there. A little bit of crackling. That probably sounds really loud. <laughs> mm. Wow, that spicy radish. That's nice. Mm. Of 
What do you think of my hanging kebab? Looks pretty good, isn't it? <laughs> Some nice fries and bits there. Oh yeah. Good. Mm. Do you think I should swing it off there? And then down here, like that? I think you just taking them off one by one with the, yeah. Yeah, but I'll... Wow. That is lovely. Lots of seafood on there. I've got some massive prawns too. Yeah, they're lovely, aren't they? Mm. Yeah, mine's amazing. These massive big chunks of fish. So you sort of swing this hanging kebab down and then just pull each piece off one at a time. But uh, yeah, they're massive, big, juicy, succulent bits of fish. These uh, fries are really nice as well, aren't they? I'm going to tuck into my tentacles, my big fat tentacles. I've uh, hooked my kebab back out the way again for now. I've taken a couple of more bits off of it and then hooked it back out the way. That's the lobster tail. Nice big fat juicy bit of lobster tail there. It really, really is juicy. It's so sweet and lovely. We've got a barbecue lobster coming up in Antigua, haven't we? Yeah. Very much looking forward to that. Yeah, yeah. This is this is a lovely piece of lobster, this. Well, it was delicious, wasn't it? Yes. Really nice. <laughs> really nice. Yeah, I've often seen these hanging kebabs, but never actually got around to having one. I've never seen that fish one though, with the lobster No, tail. but the, the, the fish one might be new. It was absolutely fantastic. And uh, Kirsty went for the, the lava block. The dessert's arrived. That's the dolce de leche tart you've got there, isn't it? Yeah. You You're weren't actually sure about having a dessert, were you? But I insisted that you get one because I will just eat yours <laughs> as <laughs> how, well. How are you going to eat that <laughs> and this? Yeah, I've gone for the coconut and chocolate budino, whatever that means. Yeah, I don't know. I've never heard that before, but it certainly looks pretty impressive. So I'm quite looking forward to that. Nice, is it? Mm. <laughs> You'll probably end up finishing that now, and I won't get, oh. I won't get any. <laughs> I really shouldn't eat it. Oh, eat it, eat it if you're enjoying it. <laughs> Mine looks really impressive. It's um, just like a chocolate. I don't know, ganache or something like that on a waffle by the looks of it. It's really good. Oh, that definitely wouldn't be my thing if it's ganache. Mm. No, it is really it's very thick, very chocolatey, like a real sort of strong dark chocolate flavour. I'm sure I've said this before in other videos, <laughs> but, but it's this a similar dessert to those that I've had before. It's lovely. That was a lovely meal in the beach house, as yeah. usual. Really enjoyed that. Uh, we're really tired. We're still suffering the effects of the time change, the time zone change. So uh, we're feeling a little bit jet lagged, aren't we? So uh, we're going to go back to the back to the cabin, um, organise ourselves, and. Uh, get an early-ish night and uh, start all over again tomorrow. So I hope you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching and we'll see you at breakfast. <laughs>